I'm Master Galfridus Peregrinus, and this video clip is an introduction to a video on making couscous that I made several years ago. Uh, I'm from the East Kingdom. Who was my inspiration? North African grandmothers making couscous and discussing how they went about doing it. The thing that inspired me about that was that I realized these women were doing something that had been passed on to them from generation to generation to generation to generation. The oldest recipe is from the 13th century, and that's the oldest written down recipe. Chances are people have been doing this for a thousand years. So my inspiration is that I am part of a thousand year old tradition, and that inspires me that I am participating in that same tradition that has been maintained by North African grandmothers for that long a period of time. And I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so this is a, a video of the process of making couscous from scratch. The ingredients that we have here are uh, lightly salted water, coarse, coarsely ground uh, durum semolina, uh, slightly, a a slightly finer grind, neither of these are really flour, um, a uh, a sieve and a bowl and the top part of the couscous here which if you take a look at the inside I put some cheesecloth some oiled cheesecloth in there so it doesn't stick to the couscous once it cooks uh, but you can see on the other side there's holes in the bottom of this thing okay so what you do is you get as large a platter as you've got and this one's actually a little too small but that's fine we can work with that and you put in the coarse semolina pretty much enough to uh, cover the bottom of the plate so I put most of what I got in there. And then we're just going to pour just a bit of water in, just enough to moisten it a little bit. And then you just sort of slice it around with your fingers. You want to make sure that it's all gotten moistened, so you, can, you, know, you might need to add a little bit more water if you don't add enough to start with. And just a splash more. And it's not enough to, to form like a dough or a paste, but it's enough to make it uh, stick together a bit. You just kind of move it around to make sure it's uh, evenly distributed. And then we add is the finer semolina because that prevents it from sticking together too much. And you add maybe about, uh, oh, a third as much as what you had to start with. The uh, coarse stuff, and you mix that around. And as you're doing it, this is a, very much a process by feel. You can feel the stuff beginning to cake together somewhat. You want to get everything sort of nicely mixed and working well together. And you don't want it too lumpy or anything like that because you know you can break up the lumps, but it's a pain. And maybe just a drop or two more water at this point to uh, make sure we got it right. I am no near, nowhere near as good at this as uh, the uh, uh, as the uh, older North African women whose videos that I watched of them doing it. They're real experts, but on the other hand, they've been doing it for like 40 years or something. You know, it started when they were kids helping their grandmother, and now they're the grandmothers. So at this point, what you do, you take a quantity of the stuff, And you put it, this is one of several techniques. And what I'm doing is I'm putting it in a large basket. This basket is called a tebek. It's a very tightly woven basket. And by rubbing it on the surface of the basket, it breaks up the lumps that are formed. You can see these you know, sort of larger lumps. And you want to break those up. Now there's a couple ways of doing it. You can do it just by rubbing your hand, rubbing between your hands. It's not quite as effective. What this does is the coarseness of the uh, surface of the basket breaks up the pieces really nicely. And you want to do this until you get the uh, couscous to, well, the uh, recipe says the size of an ant's head. Now, of course, there's a question of how big an ant, but um, it's, uh, go with medium size, I don't know. You know. 
you know, maybe about a millimeter around or something like that. That's probably about right. And you can see this sort of uh, helps you to get to uniform size. And doing this sort of aerates it and gets, you know, helps it to dry out a little bit. And you'll have a lot that hasn't really solidified, so to speak. So what you do at this point is you take a colander, a bowl, and what we're going to do is going to dump it into the colander or into the uh, sieve. And then we shake it up and a good goodly quantity of this stuff, about two thirds or so, is just going to fall through. And that's fine. And what's left is the part that's done. So that's the part that we're going to cook, and we take that and we put it in the top part of the couscous here. Now we're going to be adding this back in a little bit, but first we're, let's deal with the rest of what's in here. And again, you know, sort of rolled around a little bit, you want to break it up. Larger ones, a few smaller ones. If you look at it, you can see that. That's no problem. No, nothing to worry about. And again, you just dump this up. It's done in there. Now you take this, you dump it back on here, and you're just going to repeat the cycle. I'm going to add a little more water because this is now dried out. You just keep on doing that again and again and again, and, and eventually you use up all the semolina, and you end up with a pile of couscous, raw couscous, sitting in here. You take this put it on top of the couscousier and let it steam until it's done. But this is the basic process of getting it to that point.